it, and that's a hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart. The other way, and he beats the shift. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The catcher. And up. This is strange to make it. The line of the pitch. Probably coming. Foul ball still a one and two count. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. Right-hander kicks, deals. That Ball. misses. It's two and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the ump hear it a little bit. And he deals. On the ground to the left. Nice stop. The throw. One seat. Toss the second. On the first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. So the San Diego batting order turns over. And here comes C. He caught it behind his back. It's there, and that's a great play. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there, and it stopped. That was pretty cool. And we're back. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The first base zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. Slides for the stop. Gathers and throws, and they get the out. Nothing doing here this half. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers three, and the Padres nothing. We know he's got good stuff, and he should be really good in this one today. The pitch. On the ground, and it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Jackson Holliday with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Luke. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Grounder might be two. Good feed. That's, That's one. Up. Return throw to oh. first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Second inning coming up from Baltimore. Angels two and the Orioles nothing. set for the Leading start of the, the inning. Leader. Now it's the DH. I think for the that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, we're back to the mound and that got him. And they He's get up. the out after the ricochet. That That's your coming out to check on him. It looked like he oh, got him on his back leg. So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, that's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. And now it's Austin Haynes. He traded for him earlier this year. A big swing and a miss. Probably just threw that fastball by him. Elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. That's a base hit.
Seems like he got exactly oh, what he was looking for right there. The Everything was on time Aaron. and fluid in that swing. Yeah. Got a pitch he could get. And a pitch. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits the for these guys here. The that pretty much split the zone down right. the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Brandon Drury now at the plate, and he's all riding to the plate. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning alive. Colby Mayo with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Foul. At the belt and fires. Cracks his bat and pops him up. He's got it. And there's one away. Now the left up as well. Ouch, that one drilled him. No chance for a play, and let's hope the left-hander's not hurt out there. And now the hustle out to check right on him. That was quite a shot he took as he see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. And he can pitch off it all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Monia sizing this one up. Brings it in. Both runners tagging from second and third. He'll he score on third. the sack fly. They're on the board. 4-1. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other now team, that. you're doing pretty good work. See if you can get this next out. So it's their last chance in this one. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Here come the rally caps. It's late, but... there to center makes the grab and that's the inning new inning getting started and here is and Now this is in the air down the line. That's down. One hops off the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. Relay throw home. And he's out. out. Knocked down and that ends the inning. And swinging. So they're down to their final out. Next is the designated hitter, Ty France. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Nope. First pitch misses. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Mountcastle drifts towards it, and that's a foul ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Full count. Got it! <laughs> Huge strikeout there. The second baseman, Ian Kinsler. 
second baseman. Yeah. Let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Bounced up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off the screen. Gets it there in time, though, but a run does score on the play. So it makes it to 35. Up the middle. Throw to first is in time. And a quick out number one. Man, that was bang, bang. Tough to tell at full speed, dude. I got to be honest with you, I couldn't tell either. As they ask for time to check with their replay guys about a possible challenge, we wait and see. Yeah, and we used to get a couple of close ones every game, it seems, and this one is just about as close as it gets. So they have decided to challenge the play, and now it's up to the replay umpires in Ladies New York to make the call. Here's a final look at it. The they called play. him out, and I'm thinking it's going to stay that way. I think you're right, and... It was worthy of another look, no doubt. But after seeing these replays, I, I just think they're going to stay with the original call. Just not seeing enough over time. Here's the decision now, and he is out. So they lose the challenge, and they won't have any more the rest of the way. Upon video review, the umpires have upheld the call out at first base. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. And behind him, but you also are able to score for a guy like that. A laser to left base hit. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field. And it does for two. In the air, out towards right center, Tavares. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. Both runners tagging from second and third. He scores on the sack fly, and they lead by four. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Bellinger up to hit. And a base hit up the middle. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Now, Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and no, took it no. back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Hop. One down, base is empty. Eight. Caught him looking for the K. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick Not outs bad. for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Seager. Seager stands in now. Then you got to tip your cap. Line drive, come on! Time to perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys on the corners because, you know, especially when it's a, you know, right-handed hitter for third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now, here is roll to short, possible two ball. Off balance feed, there's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the end. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the... He wants to have a good at bat. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. Oh. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Definitely a weird now play right there, there. and it changes the outlook of the yeah. inning completely. Yeah. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but on the flip side, I have to think they're going to have some discussions. And Robinson lessened around and made a nice catch. Bounce to third, and it's off the bag. Now the tag of third, and they got it. And the inning is over. From a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So 
know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Jackson Merrill with his first major Whoa. league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. In the big leagues. Swing and a miss, strike one. He measures one six count. feet, two inches. Batting sixth in today's lineup. And he was a fifth-round pick in 2020. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Back at guaranteed rate field. Bottom of the inning. And the batter now, Colson Montgomery. Looking for his first big league hit right here. In the air, out towards left center, and it drops in. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Colson Montgomery with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And there stays where he is. That one almost got him. Rogers leads off first with two down to the inning. This one smoked out to left. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the White Sox one and the Tigers nothing. And make him work a little bit harder. That's to third. Slides for the stop. Throw to first. And very nicely done for the out. Hitting is all about anticipation. And right now, this lineup is struggling. Their swings are this time. And it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. pitch oh that hit him the flip to the pitcher is late and they don't get the out catcher coming out to check on him it looked like he got him on his back leg so you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the run yeah it's a great point and we'll have to see how he looks but to me it appears he's moving pretty well i think it's just gonna sting for righty delivers Line to left. And that gets down for a base hit. Here comes the throw. And he's out. Well, they're trying to put the pressure on him right there. Trying to score from second base on that base hit. And I tell you what, really nice job by the defense. They got it in quick enough. Cut him off to the plate. Nice job. Now a rip in the left center. And it gets by him. The winning run crosses the plate, and the White Sox walk it off in extra innings. Buddy, you're going to the ballpark, hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. Remember the ball in these spots, because Mookie is lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff spot. So Mookie bets with a base hit. Around first, heading for two. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay throw. He's in there. there. He was all over that one. That's what we this time. That one the other way. Jump throw across his body. An acrobatic play to end the inning. Offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Out to short, Andrews whips it across, 
They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end it. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Well, pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up. Not right. The pitch. To the right side. Nice stop. Save the first as they can't make the play. Now the ball. And he was a second round pick back in 2018. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. So they get the first out of the end. Fastball moved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Instantly, he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really. Just a fair chance to go out and have success. Up the middle of the field for that knock. Carroll oh, in the good. box now as he leaves that one up high. Corbin Carroll was an easy choice for Rookie of the Year in 2023. Voters made him the unanimous choice after he put together a consent. Swung on, belted. Thomas going back on this one. And caught on the warning track. The battle is up there. Now the number two hitter, Brendan Rogers. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Shabby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Geraldo Perdomo. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay, safe. And that's his third hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. The pitch. To third. Can't field it cleanly. Throw off oh, line. He's nice. safe. And a nice job there to keep that it from good. getting away. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's yeah. pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. The tall righty, 220 pounds, and of course yeah. has a Cy Young to his credit. Oh, well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss. Jeter, off balance speed. There's one on the first double play, and that's the inning. So they make short work of them there. We head on down to the top of the third. Yankees six, and the Astros nothing. I got Back here in Houston, new inning getting run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Line drive, base hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Derek Jeter stepping in now for the Yankees. That's the ball. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Get the first. He's one for two. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double.
here is Glaber Torres. Riding to the plate. That one hammered center field. McCormick going back on this one. Up against the wall and brings it in. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Back here in here Houston, oh, here's Alex Bregman. He's still delivering good action. Well, clearly oh, just yeah. anxious right there, and understandably so, in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Torres sends it to first. Just got him on that one. Now batting the first baseman. Jose Abreu. So digging in, Jose Abreu. There's over two with a pair of strikes. You let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. On the ground, the third might be two. Over to Altuve. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Yankees 11 and the Astros 1. Back here in Houston, bottom of the inning. Now here is Corey Jew. He'd get messages questioning if he should go back to pitching, but it turns out. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. The run scores from third, and they take a two-run lead. Now the throw comes in. The runner holds it third. Four hits. in a row and they're really swinging it here so close to blasting that one out of here the other way but well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that beautiful swing though let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field look at the first inning that's what we saw too many pitches out over the plate line drive nice grab so quick to react, fully extended, and makes an excellent spear out of the air to rob a hit and to end the inning. The wide to kick the pitch. The other way, takes it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. All over that one right there. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Zach Wheeler won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Taiwan Walker. It's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. 
We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at Minute Maid Park. And now the center fielder, his first time. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Stringing it together, that's three hits in a row. They really got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Bregman drifts towards it, and a foul ball. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the Zustros. Chaz McCormick. That one ripped right center field, and that should be extra bases. One run across, rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, two runs are in, and they lead by four. Waste no time there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Nestor Cortez Jr. departs, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm, misses for ball one. For me, Boog, the biggest challenge for outfielders here is where the left field fence juts out suddenly towards center. It's kind of hard to position yourself if you're playing left. Balls hit that way can cause chaos. Rizzo makes the play, out number two. Now, now out. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Here's his empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Throws from his knees, and that's a great play for the out. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. First pitch coming your way next. The opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand. Corrals it. That's out number two. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely, you feel so much more. The pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Nice balance swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. How do you justify your and there's a foul ball. And the 0-1 on the ground right side. And that chance handled. Tosses the first awesome play there. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty no, good no. way there in the shallow no, right field. Three. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really grounder off the pitcher. And they get the out after the ricochet. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really no, see him favoring the, the leg. Right That's his plant no leg, way. which might be a concern, no. Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay. That one is absolutely... 
absolutely belted back there. Didn't quite have enough. The right fielder, seven. And now the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at-bat right here. Full extension makes the catch. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder, you lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the team fired up in the dugout. You see them jock trying to beat me. It's only coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Back to the mound. It hit him. He makes the he's throw, right, but it's right. not in time. And he's on it first. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. Side. Fires to second for one. How about that double play? As a former player, watching five, four, three double plays and brings around some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. It definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's Guriel. Grounder might be two. Off balance feed, there's one. On the first double play, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Through eight full, it's the Diamondbacks seven, and the Rockies five. Don't know the time doing, the silence go to broke because they know if they're talking fluent. Got them under the influence, the truth is talking to them. But it's on your ego, bumping them out, music on it. Time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Gets the call from the pen. A chance at his first save of the year. First pitch coming your way next. Next to Sweetie. Homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Just oh, missed. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. And now here is Lowry's Montero. Now he breaks his back and makes the grab. And that'll do it. Put that in front of the center fielder. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's into the gap. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. And that's a pure stroke. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Rodriguez back to work. Hey. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Liner snagged it first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high Definitely fives. Good. You know, when you make. Yeah. out after the ricochet. 
They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. And the score. Out to short. Jumps. Throws. One out oh. in the bottom of the fourth. See an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just did it. First pitch coming your way next. Side gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Wings and blasts one deep to left center. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. We can go We don't ever stop. We don't ever drop. Keep rolling. I know what you better rock. We the veterans. Yeah, we the steady shot. We just better. Hit on the ground, might be two. Takes it himself for one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at one apiece. Offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he flips it over to Altuve. On to Jose Abreu. That's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's Jordan Inner Diaz. Up the middle, a sliding play at short. Out of Torres. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. He's so good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare hand to throw. I like the flair that he brings day in and day out. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. Doubled in his. And a pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scored position, and just one out. Having a oh, really oh, nice oh, game oh, here. That's his second oh, extra oh, base hit. Oh, that oh, could be a dangerous oh, pitch oh, if you oh. don't get it inside enough, because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. Golden opportunity strike. Well, these Astros doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They're putting together strong at bats with Torres. On a second, they get one. How about that double play? Okay. Oh, fast oh, double oh, play right there. No margin oh, for oh, error. Oh. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. to the top of the lineup and now the right fielder Kyle Tucker there's a strike of the knees base is empty that one lifted to left out number two 
Now bad. The short stop. So the batting order turns Jeter. over. Derek G. Number 99. Here is Aaron Judge. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at-bat right here. Right-hander kicks deals. To first. Might be two. One at second. Back to first. Oh, Double play. Nice job getting. Anthony Stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. He launched the solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Set for the last half of the seven. Right now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The Astros in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat. And the pitch. On the ground to the left. And it stays fair. Around first. Digging for two. The throw in. The tag. And they he cut him down. Up. Going for two. Got a long hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double. But unfortunately thrown out. The 1-0. -oh. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Clearly see the ball very well in this one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumping, didn't try to pull the ball, let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then... Now it's Alex Bregman. Double play ball to second. There's one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. I think four, six, three yeah. double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes, because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. The why to kick the pitch. Now he breaks his bat. And Glaber Torres retired. And there's one down. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. We don't ever stop. We don't ever drop. We keep rolling. I know that you better rock. We the veterans. Yup, we steady shock. We just better man. Started after it. Appeal to third. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Bounce to the left side. They get the force. And the inning is over. So the Astros lead one, but they lead it one to nothing. The numbers, they're hitting into a lot of outs early in the event. Swing and a miss struck him out. Slider got him for a strike three. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, he could start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made a chase and got a quick strikeout. Jose Altuve up to hit here. He's 0 for 1. Alex Bregman brings the power for Houston. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Leading Top ball five, ball John Shabby with Chris Single. On the ground to third. Tosses across that's the first. Out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now that out. The right field. Right field. One. Here's Juan Soto. He's already homered in this game. Right-handed reliever. Ah, that hit him. Ah, and the leadoff hurt. man is aboard to start the inning. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf the tournament this offseason. Here's the Yankee. And a pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Diaz snags it for the second out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Here, here. Base hit. And that extends the inning. 
Waste no time there. Oh, First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now it's the show. Your dugout and seeing the guys fired up. Next to hit, Juan Soto. Here's a rip to shoot, but he's there for the third out. So they strand a pair. The six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. It's the Yankees 11 and the. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. One run is in. Two outs away. Gainer Diaz. 